Hello, my name is Mikhail Bubrovsky from Harmony Public Schools. My PBL project is the balloon race. These are the materials I used. Acidic acid. Sodium hydrogen carbonate. Six balloons. Six 125 milliliter Erlenmeyer flasks. Six weighing dishes. A balance with 0.01 gram precision. A marker and a 50 milliliter graduated cylinder. That is all the required materials for my experiment. As for safety, I wear gloves, safety goggles, and an apron. Started off by labeling all the Erlenmeyer flasks one through six. Then I did the same thing with the weighing dishes. Then I added 0.5 grams of sodium hydrogen carbonate to the first weighing dish, one gram to the second, 1.5 grams to the third, 2 grams to the fourth, 2.5 grams to the fifth, and finally 3 grams to the sixth. In the next step, I used the graduated cylinder to measure out and pour 25 milliliters of acidic acid into each Erlenmeyer flask. So I had my chemistry teacher assist me in stretching each balloon for easy expansion. I added the contents of the weighing dishes into the balloon by number. Later attached each balloon to the Erlenmeyer flasks and let them hang by their side. In the final step, I poured the contents of each balloon into the Erlenmeyer flasks. In the result of the reaction, each balloon inflates and its volume is increased from the carbon dioxide gas generated. The balloons increase in volume until the fourth balloon. Even though the amount of sodium hydrogen carbonate is increasing, there isn't enough acidic acid to dissolve the larger amounts of the substance. Therefore, the acidic acid becomes the limiting reactant. My social studies connection is about how throughout the history of our scientific developments, specifically in chemistry and life-based science, chemical reactions, basic gaseous concepts, and stoichiometric relationships have been the building blocks of more advanced ideas. In the early 17th century, Johann Rudolf Klauber, a German chemist, discovered basic chemical reactions by combining sulfuric acid and sodium chloride. Shortly after this experiment, Newton, Boyle, and other chemists established theories that would change the way chemical reactions were interpreted. Thanks to these attempts and ideas during the scientific revolution, modern day chemists understand how gases and elements combine to create new compounds and release energy in the form of a reaction to yield certain overall results. My PBL experiment is heavily dependent on chemical reactions and the formation of gases on release of energy in order to achieve the inflation of a balloon. For English, I decided to make an ELA journal. My first entry goes as follows. Today, I formulated and discovered what I'm going to do for my 2013 to 2014 Harmony PBL experiment. With help from the project database, I was able to find something that is appealing to me. I chose to do a project titled PBL Balloon Race, a simple project that incorporates the foundations of chemistry, chemical reactions, and reactions that yield gases. Although this may seem like a simple project, I plan on learning about the history of chemical reactions, how they're developed, and why they're one of the most important concepts in modern chemistry. Thanks for watching, and once again, this is Mikhail Bubrovsky from Harmony Public Schools.